Hello everyone. For those of us who have friends and family in Ukraine, this has been a very difficult day. And one of the frustrating things for me for posting these daily reports is that I can't find any sources outside of Ukraine talking about what actually happened. Let me show you what I mean. So here's the basic summary, you know, the kind we see um, pretty much every day. And there's just this one little snippet uh, that there was a massive um, air attack on Kiev and um, also there was a fire in Lviv and uh, shelling in Zaporizhia. That's it. So this is the CNN summary, and this is literally the only Western source I was able to find mentioning it. Um, all of the other sources have news that are anywhere from one to two days old, um, and all they talk about in terms of Zaporizhia region um, is the retaking of the village of Vasilyev. So this is from a Ukrainian source. And this source talks about... Um, the type of missiles used, how many, uh, when the attack happened, and so on and so forth. Um, so in Zaporizhia, the attacks happened around half past two their time in the morning. It was evening here, and I started getting a lot of chatter uh, from Ukrainian uh, social media talking about loud explosions, you know, people who live in Zaporizhia talking about explosions. At the time, I could not contact my parents uh, because I knew they were likely going to be uh, in a bomb shelter somewhere. I called my father first thing this morning uh, to make sure that they were okay, and they are. They're okay. They're all right. Um, everybody's alive. Um, and from what he told me, so the rockets struck um, a, an agricultural establishment outside of Zaporizhia, as well as a resort in the village of Razumovka. Uh, so it, it's a place that uh, my family is actually very familiar with. Fortunately, the resort was empty, so nobody was hurt. There's also a fire in, in Lviv, and if you look at the map of Ukraine, Lviv is way over to the west. It's actually one of the cities where the refugees went uh, in the earlier part of the war because it's further out to the west. But now that's... Um, that's been hit too. Fortunately, again, there were uh, no casualties. However, uh, there were damages to infrastructure. 